Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nuno Brazido, and today I welcome you to a masterpiece in Blue Hills Equestrian Estate. It is simply magnificent and I cannot wait to show you the interior. The design, the features, the location is what set this home apart and that's why I'm excited to take you for a full private tour. So before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to all my social platforms and without further ado, let's go inside and let's go fall in love. So the moment you enter, guys, I just want to show you something with these garages. So you'll notice there's a lot of wood paneling around the home. But I absolutely love the design and how they created, how it just slides open. So it's garaging for four cars. Um, and sort of just to your left, you've got your solar room, which I'll get into detail in a bit. Uh, but yeah, you can stage your four supercars in there and it is magnificent so as we walk up to your to your main entrance what i absolutely love is that this is an ex is an experience in itself because you have your reflective pools on each side of the home gorgeous stones it's just it's just a, like i said it's an experience as you enter your home and through your pivot doors welcome home you'll see that there's a lot of natural lighting that floods the interiors of this home. It's floor to ceiling, glass, sliding doors. And in terms of the design and the, the design team, they created the perfect space. So let's start with the kitchen, which is the showpiece of the home. You have your gorgeous center island breakfast bar, uh, stunning marble materials. You have your gas stove. But what I really love about the space is that this is super interactive for the growing family, when you have friends and family over, you can sit at the bar, you can cook up a storm, and it's just really something special. And you'll notice that it's the smeg appliances and everything is all built in, which is amazing. You have your integrated fridge freezer, and then through this door, it takes you to your, um, your hidden scullery. You don't need to see that space. And this is the pathway that walks you from your garage into your home. So, carrying on to the tour, but before I carry on, I just want to give you some specs of the home. So, we have seven bedrooms, well-sized bedrooms, uh, eight bathrooms, 1,019 square meters of internal space set on a stand of 5,000 square meters. The design team, like I said, created the perfect space. The uh, Doll Arc property developers, you built and constructed and designed beautifully so these all these doors slide open as you can see and again i mentioned it attracts all that natural light but let's go into your your dining room you have a 10 seater wooden dining room table with a gorgeous contemporary chandeliers um, you'll see that you've got your cladding your slats it's very earthy in terms of the colors that they went with and what i like as you turn around cj and you would have noticed that as we entered the home you have your wooden slats. So it is elegant, it is warm, it is, for me, it is perfect. So what it makes me think of is going on holiday, going on a skiing resort, it's just take the snow out the equation because we're living in South Africa. So let's, let's go into your entertainment space and pooling area. So we have a 14 meter swimming pool. So guys, do you want your child to be the next Michael Phelps by this home? Because that's exactly what it is. You have a lap pool, wake up in the morning and get going. And everything, I love how private the space is because the house was built around the pool. You have a very long corridor. You have a pavilion up at the top. You have your boma area. So if you just follow me, we're going to go on a nice little walkway into your boma area. So picture it in winter, you have your boma in the middle that's portable, that moves. You have your uh, cushions around you, you, roasting marshmallows. Or in summer, it's a chill out spot, dive into the pool and off you go. And this landing over here comes straight off from your, from your kitchen, from the sliding doors. You have your bra facilities, which is really, really cool. Guys, if this isn't paradise, I don't know what is because I absolutely love the space. Okay, so then as we step into your outside office space, this room was initially designed to be the gym, but it was too small to be the gym and the office was too big to be an office, so they swapped them around. And for me, there's no better place than actually sitting in my desk catching up on some work in admin and seeing the greenery, your garden, your pool, the architecture, the colors, everything about it just makes me feel like I've actually made it. 
if this were my home, wow, guys, um, I'd, be, <laughs> I'd be very happy. So let's go out um, through these sliding doors. And again, if you just take that all in, the colors, um, you'll also notice that there's solar panels. There's 39 solar panels on the property. It, is, it has a 21 kilowatt inverter backup system. And then it also has a borehole. Um, we'll discuss that more when we actually go for a walk uh, through the garden. And then just starting with on the pavilion side. So the way the owners designed it was if the kids are having their friends over, this is their sort of section. And the parents will be on that side of the house. The kids can make their noise. And they will be there more chilled out, having a glass of wine. We are currently in the gym. This was initially, like I said, designed to be the office. But it's too big to be an office. And I really like the space that they have here. And then as these windows open up, you'll start to see your, your garden. I'll talk about the garden in a bit, but there's over 112 indigenous trees, vegetables, herbs in the garden. And then we have your bathroom for this section of the entertainment section. You'll see it has your shower. So if you're swimming, pop inside, go rinse yourself off. And then we have our cinema room. So you'll see that there's integrated speakers in the living parts of the home all built in so at night when it's dark when that's going you really can enjoy a good movie moving on to the outside so as this all slides open this is your games area the pavilion you have um, an additional bra facility as seen as the top there so what's nice is that you can have sort of two parties going on at the same time um, behind this wall, we have a storage room, and I'll get in. I'll start speaking about the art in a bit. Okay, so starting with the first bedroom, have a look as you enter. Just emphasis on the size, the fills, the colours, the wallpaper. All of this is what makes this home super special and what separates it from the rest. And this is your outlook. So as I open this up. You'll see that it almost overlooks like a desert type of garden. So there's sort of three parts of the garden. This is one of them. And you'll see that there's, um, that there's a borehole, as I mentioned, it's fully automated, the irrigation system. And then this opens up into your ensuite. So all the bedrooms besides, um, the one section are all ensuite, but please have a look. Full bathroom, it is stunning, gorgeous, incredible finishes. Okay, so I just want to mention something. So as we go back, go back, go back, go back. So as we go back, you will notice this corridor. It's probably the longest corridor I have ever seen. So moms, dads, I know you say, don't run inside the house. Do you want to nurture the next Usain Bolt, well, this is the home for you. Because this is essentially a 100 meter sprint all the way to the bottom. It's good. And then again, just take note of all the glass. This is, it's mind blowing. At night, when all the lights are on, it's all warm light. You must see how this whole place lights up, but you will see it in the video. Because CJ, you're gonna piece it together, some bits and pieces. <laughs> So you'll see that you have another gorgeous king-size bedroom. The interiors, if you look at the colors that they've gone for, and then your ensuite. And same outlook of your sort of desert-like garden. Isn't it just amazing? Wow, special. Okay, so. A little bit about the, the artists in the home. So we will drop um, the details of the artists in the home. It's Richard Chipane. Also, we have pieces from Great Joy and some really special pieces from Spiwe Machoka. Okay, so as we go through, you'll see you have your own sort of arts and crafts workshop 
uh, area, which is really, really cool. Again, it can be for whatever you want it to be. Um, it can be another formal living space. It can be a games room in terms of like PlayStation, but there's a lot that you can do with the space. It can be an additional bedroom if need be. It's got the built-in cupboards. So it's really, really cool. I love how it, everything just slides. So yeah, it's really, really cool. So just to touch, we've basically covered the ground floor. Um, and now we're going to make our way upstairs to go see the, the more private parts of the home, the bedrooms. But you'll see it is just completely open. They wanted a space that's functional and practical. And they wanted a space that they didn't have to leave their home, that everyone wanted to come to their own home to have the best time and live their best life. Okay, so let's carry on. Just to mention, you've got your Stuka, Stuco finish walls, which in my opinion is one of my favorite types. If you feel it, it's got a great texture to it. And then as you turn around, this space will take you to either your staff accommodation or your um, flatlet. It's got a kitchenette, two rooms with a bathroom. It's beautiful sizes. CJ, please will you post it? Um, into it and that is if you go th straight down through there but now we're going to the bedrooms you're going to fall in love let's go okay so same creed flooring stucco finish gorgeous gorgeous uh, pendant that welcomes you um, to your bedrooms at night and that's just to say bedtime so on each side of me you have really big bedrooms en suites with gorgeous vistas of your garden and of your home so if you have a quick look step inside you have really high ceilings as well you don't feel like it's tight it is very spacious you have your balcony on this side which opens up and as you turn around you'll notice those views of the mountain this is your equestrian vault so it really is special. Um, you'll also notice what I really love about this home and how cleverly designed it was um, designed is that these actually move. So it depends on so these wooden slats. If you want it to move, you can move it. If you want less light, you can hide it. So I really love that feature. And again, just that wood, it gives it that, that elegant, warm feeling to the home. So then, straight to your, uh, your third bedroom upstairs. So in total, we've covered four bedrooms. This is now the fifth. Again, really, really special features. Um, all this built-in cabinetry, it really is a work of art. And then your own private balcony, which overlooks the swimming pool. So yeah, it's, it's very impressive, guys. Like, for me, honestly, this is one of the best homes I've seen. And if you can guess the price, down below so before you actually go read the whole thing just guess the price I want to see what you think what your thoughts are okay so then as we come up to this landing we have your pajama lounge upstairs so with sort of like a coffee station again you need to picture all of that it really is a work of art this the space and then one of my favorite main bedrooms that I have seen. So please step inside. You have a full bathroom, double vanity. It's, it almost feels like it's floating. Your vanity with your rocks around your bath. Nice big dual shower. So as you step inside, it's his and hers. And you've got that rain shower effect. And then I'm going to take you this way. Overlooks your pool and pavilion area straight into your walk-in closet. You have his and her section. You have your mirror to make sure that you're dressed for the day. And then as you go through, it will take you straight to the main bedroom. Where you have your own private lounge. and private balcony.
So this home is a statement, guys, and I'm going to be going to go downstairs because I want to take you for your own private trail walk in your back garden. What a dream. Um, and we'll just touch on sort of like the, the, um, the parts of the garden where he's got his fruits, he's got his herbs, he's got his vegetables. But it really is very impressive what he's created here. I'll see you downstairs in the garden and I hope you got your walking shoes on. Let's go. So I just went to the car. I just realized I left my gym bag at home. So you're going to have to see me walk around the garden in my work shoes. But let's get going, guys. So I just want to mention, we on a stand of 5,000 square meters. Do you realize how big that is? Like, it is massive. So if you like the outdoors, this is the perfect space. Um, you'll see it's an indigenous garden with over 112 indig indigenous trees, plants, fruits right around the garden where we've got a lot of our fruits and veg um, as well as your herbs on the northern side of the, the the property and then sort of going down so as you turn around this is more of like your grasses that you will see throughout South Africa like you can picture going to the Kruger and being in the bush and this is like it's just it's amazing it is a water wise garden so it does take a lot of water but you do have your own borehole which does uh, feed into the irrigation system, so you don't pay for that. So this is a, a forever growing fruit uh, and food forest in your back garden. You are essentially off-grid, guys, with your um, 39 solar panels, uh, 21 kilowatts uh, solar system, an inverter, and as we go through, you will see that everything has been, uh, you know, placed with a purpose it is well established it is really magnificent i love the stones the pebbles um, we have peach trees we have mango trees we have strawberry we have just think of it and it's here you can literally go and pick an ever off your tree and chop it up and add it to your pizza Water from the roof is stored in two large underground tanks and it can be harvested. So let's carry on with our tour guys um, in terms of like our garden, your own trail walk as I mentioned. Um, if you want to be fit, this is a great space for you. And I just love the different plants, stones, pebbles, trees that you see in your home. And look at it. The architect, guys, we're on the side of the home. Normally the side of the home people don't ever go, but it's, 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 it's a work of art. I love the cladding, the wooden slats, the design. It really is special. So, yeah, so thank you so much for, for seeing me. I'll, I'll see you on the inside where I'll just break it down exactly what you've seen today. And if you know of anyone that's looking at buying something special, give them my number. So if you have enjoyed this tour, Drop your comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts of this home. It really is something special to me. If you've got any friends or family that want to showcase their homes that's in South Africa, very happy to reach out and do a, a private tour so that the rest of the country can see the amazing homes that we have in our country. And Joe, thank you for your time and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers, guys.